Uh, this is Mr. Adekunle Oluyemi, was involved in an accident since 2014 and sustained a spinal cord injury. He could not walk, now he can give his testimony. Praise the Lord. Last 2014, Ori we share any more joke or see? Only two years. Koto di pe motu mo share share tun logi. But I'm so grateful. I lay ye at Ijeta Timowani Oti Oti Yuwaye dear dear Chuba. Me pay by a Tori pay our father. Do you know that you are prayer to a rush lolly? But a need to moa. Do you know to moa? Do you know? I want to what do you know to me? Oh, shadow do you me? Our lower and he ah, oh, yeah, king try that will be picking so far, let him try that will but but he must so far let any part of what I'm with you could see that feeling moving in the way you need be like so would you call our law? That man had an accident, motor accident, eight years ago. And now, by the special grace of God, he sustained that time, that time, that time, spinal cord injury, and was on the wheelchair for some time. Later on, he began to walk with a stick. But when he came here tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, his body received strength. And by himself, he walked from the back row to the front without the stake for the first time in all those years. I tell you, that is the finger of God. Put your eyes together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where is the parent of this little girl? The mother should stand with the child so you can confirm the story. Praise the Lord. She's Priscilla Taiwo with abdominal problem. The mother will, I mean, the child will give the testimony and the mother will uh, corroborate it. Praise the Lord. The hallelujah is too small for my Jesus. <laughs> my name is Taiwo Priscilla. My district is Olomi. Last, it happens last year. I had stomach pain, severe one. And the first day, I, when I was eating, I dropped the food. I could not eat again. And I told my mom, my mom said I should eat, but I cannot eat. So the second day when I went to school, I vomited. The third day, there was a program, Divine Touch. So my mom was, my mom was praying. So I just released a fat. I told my mom that I want to use the toilet. I, when, I used, I, when I came back from the toilet, the pain was, there was no more. The, the stomach pain was disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Okay. It was a serious pain that I had to, you know, wait in the night to pray. And I was just believing God that the pain would disappear. Since our Father in the Lord is coming and is even divine touch. So I believe that God is going to touch her. So I decided not to even take her to any hospital or anywhere, but I, I trusted God. And while the man of God was praying, 
I think the second day of the program, as the man of God was praying, she just released a fat and she was shouting, the stomach has gone, the stomach has gone. And I told her, just wait, let the man of God finish the prayer. And after the prayer, she went to the toilet and that was it. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, the woman standing beside me is a nurse. She brought this child that has been running fever and was very unwell. And she wants to give the testimony of what God has done to her baby. Praise the Lord. My name is Damla Lajima Jashon. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my life. Actually, I didn't want to come, but... The Lord has been, has been ministering to me that I have to come because I still have other things I'm believing God for. So I believe that he that has done this still will do those things I'm waiting on him for. Um, like four days to, before the crusade started, my daughter was running temperature and if I don't give antibiotic, she's not going to eat and she will not sleep at night. So I give her most times in the morning and then before she sleeps at night. But that day that crusade started, even at the crusade gang in the afternoon when we came, I had to give her drugs before she took her lunch. But in the evening, when the pastor was praying, I touched her, I backed her like this, and I told God that, Lord, I don't want to give her paracetamol before she sleeps this night. I want you to perfect her healing. And when we got home that night, I didn't give her, even though I kept it on the bed, that in case at night, I'll have to give her, but I was still trusting God. Throughout the night, I, she didn't run temperature at all, and I didn't give her paracetamol. The following morning, when she uh, woke up from, um, from sleep and, and came to meet me in the living room, I touched her body, and she was not running temperature. I was really surprised, because... It's the first time I've actually like, received an instantaneous miracle like that. And I was touching her body throughout the whole day to see if probably she's still running temperature. And throughout since that time till now, she has stopped running temperature. Praise the Lord! <laughs> Praise the Lord. She's Ogunobi Eniola. She's been battling with severe abdominal pain and discomfort, but she has a testimony to share what God has done for her. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I'm Ogunobi Eniola from Goodness District. I want to give the glory, I want to, I want to thank the Lord for how he has healed me, and I'm healed indeed. Two weeks ago, before the crusade, I had um, um, stomach pain at the lower part of my abdomen. Anytime I'm feeling the pain, it will look as if there's something hitching me at the whole lower part of my, my abdomen. But when our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumo, he said, we should lay our hand on any way we have pains. I laid my hand on the lower part of my abdomen, and now I am free. I feel, I'm feeling no more. I'm feeling no more pain. Before any time I have the problem, I can't bend down. I can't stand straight. But now I can bend. I can stand. Praise the Lord. <laughs> They are sick coming out, and if you are in the crowd, you want to get back home to check things, you can do it now. Because to see, God has healed you. 
And all you need to do is to come forth and give God the glory. Let's listen to another testifier. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The young girl beside me has been battling with total NASA blockade. And tonight, she has a testimony of what God has done for her. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Choma Milo from Mibo Group District. I want to testify for this, uh, my daughter, Mireku. Since nine years, uh, let me say, she's 10 now. Since nine years, I can remember nine years that she has been uh, battling from uh, nose block. She cannot breathe with her nose, always opening her mouth to breathe. Even school, they are complaining about it. Say, ah, we should know what to do about it. We have used hospital that will give us drugs. The thing did not stop. So yesterday, as man of God was praying, she said that she wants to go to front, where we are sitting at back. He wants to see pastor face to face. I see you, you are free to go. So after prayer, she ran back to me, say, Mommy, I can breathe well now. Mommy, I can breathe well now. I want to go and testify. I say, no, let's go home and, and check first. Because in the night, if you see her when she's sleeping, you pity her. She can, if, sometimes she will jump off where she's sleeping. So she cannot breathe again. Thank God that yeah, uh, last night she slept like a baby. Even their window was open. I opened their windows. And she sleep. she wake up this morning again. She said, Mommy, my nose did not block again. So today, she come back to me again. Say, Mommy, I want to testify that God has healed me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> We still want to encourage you, wherever you are, to check your body because God has done something for you. Look at that girl was healed yesterday. The mother said, no, let's get back home first and then check up. But the girl was healed yesterday. Nine years of agony was gone. And now she was breathing with her mouth before. For nine years, think about that, nine years, one, two, three, nine. And now she breathes normally with a nostrils. No more nasal blockade. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's take this one more. Others we hold on, we go online. But let's hear this now. Praise the Lord. She's Miss Adekombi Omaomi, that has been suffering from post-traumatic uh, kidnap that she suffered uh, some time ago, but tonight she has a testimony to share in that regard. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Adekombi Omaomi. I'm from uh, Babanla District. My testimony goes thus. It happened last week on Thursday. Actually, uh, last week on uh, Wednesday, actually I just came back from school on Wednesday and I was actually learning some work. So I went there on my way coming back from work. I went somewhere and on my way home, I entered a vehicle. And unknowingly, when I was going, the bike man just said, ah, sister, do you know this place? I said, I don't know. To cut the story short, we were taken to one abandoned house in which it is very, very far and I didn't mean something had happened to me. No one will even, even know. On getting there, the Baba said, drop whatever you have with you. I dropped it, my phones, my, the little change I had on me. The Baba said, ha, it was help you render though, but to avert the evil that is on your head, you have to drop whatever that is with you. I dropped it. 
And Baba said, are you doubting me? I said, no. He said, if you doubt me, something bad will happen. I said, no. I said, because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I said, the Lord of Pastor Kumu, he will save me. He said, he will give you like, call God of Baba Lola. I said, you go and buy the salt. I asked you to go and buy. I dropped my stuffs. I went there. When I got to the market, before going there, Baba Baba performed the magic in which a stone had to enter inside of me. I couldn't tell my parents because I was scared. I'm sorry, my parents, that I didn't tell you this, but I was expecting a miracle. That was why I couldn't tell you. When we were coming, uh, uh, not only I, I escaped and I got home, my mother was scared. She was like, what has happened to me? I explained the whole thing to her. But that particular part, that the Baba performed the magic that a stone had to enter the side of me. I couldn't tell her. On Thursday, we went somewhere. When we were coming, I told her, I said, Mom, please show me the puppets at which this crusade is going to happen. She showed me. But instead of I said, God, I just want to cite these puppets. And if you could do this miracle, I'm going to testify. That Thursday happened to be Thursday Power Night. I was so eager just to try and go to church. I went to church. Baba made a statement that your touch is irresistible. I claimed it because... Ever since the Baba performed the magic, I have this oddness within me. I told my mom, she was like, maybe it's also because I couldn't eat because of what happened to me. But I know deep inside of me, something is wrong with me. I could feel this sensation that paper is being poured inside of me. I said, God, I want to be delivered. On Thursday, the first day of the program, Baba said we should lay our hands where we have the problem. I laid my hand there. I was like, God, you must do something. I laid it Oh, I laid my hand on, 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 the, on the tummy. When we were going, I belched three times. And then the pepper sensation, the hotness, the everything has gone. Praise the Lord! Now we go to social media and hear some testimonies from there. Great things are happening online. The power of God is making crutches to also go up in over 500 kilometers from here. Let's take you to Nyanya. The picture you are seeing right now, um, it's coming on your screen shortly. There you can see it. It's a Hausa church. There in Yanya Abuja Federal Capital Territory and this woman we are told they spoke in Hausa language the woman came there and was struggling to walk they all saw her struggling to walk she said she had accidents in December but after the prayer of the man of God tonight you can see them singing and rejoicing in their language over there joy all the way from here, it's happening everywhere. Let's take you to more testimonies online. This is coming all the way from Ekiti State, where we can see, see that the power of God is moving, and indeed, what God cannot do is not existing and will not exist. This is coming from Brother Olabi Oluwashes or Damilare, who is a district pastor from Adu Ekiti region of Ekiti State. According to him, he took heal strangely during the global crusade of uh, the August last year edition. According to him, he could not breathe well. He was dying gradually. He was rushed down to the hospital from the church. That was the Kitty State University Teaching Hospital. After two days, the doctors kept checking and he was told that he was suffering from what we call myocardial infraction. And because of this, he had to go through um, a medical surgery for, this to, for him to be, to be cured. And what this means is that an artery in his heart is com was completely blocked. And this will have to be fixed. And to get this fixed, only the best of the cardiologists, one of them will have to come in from Lagos to lead the team of the surgeons. They waited for days before the surgeon could come. And then this could not happen. He wasn't coming on time. The state pastor was called in who prayed for him. But then, when God is at work, every other thing holds on. During the 
edition of the Divine Solution Crusade, while the man of God was praying, according to him, he mentioned his case. And just after then, the surgeon from Lagos arrived. And while there in the theater, when it was, or after it was opened up and then they were checking him, the doctor said he could not find any blocked artery in him. Nothing is open. Everything seemed fine. And then the doctor was asking, oh, is this the same person that you said was suffering from this? In nature, according to the doctor, things do happen like this sometimes that ones cannot explain. And this man's case is one of them. But the man jumped up and said, no, this is not natural healing, but a divine solution healing because God had just healed him. Hallelujah. This man received his healing miraculously. We now take you to Calabar, South South Nigeria. Calabar, live. Church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. It was yesterday at the opening prayer of this program that I received my miracle. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Edna Otu. I'm from Calabar region. A getting group of groups. Praise the Lord. Around 2 p.m. yesterday, my body system got changed. My, my throat was swollen inside me. I felt that my throat was swollen. Dehydrated that it was very so dry that I could not drink, I could not swallow saliva again. I was contemplating what happened to me. Then I was now contemplating on the drug that I would took. I remember that I was going to church. Praise the Lord. As I went to church yesterday, I sat down and I tell God, I will not go back with this sickness. At the last amen of opening prayer yesterday, it was as if they poured me cold water. My throat got to itself again. That dried up, I cannot see it again. I can swallow saliva, no pain again. I said, may the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. When they say, say, Ejibo Lagos live. Praise the Lord. Here in Ejibo Group, all in Solar District, we have some people in the course of this crusade that God has touched. They are here to give their testimony. Let's hear from them. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Sickness. I'm Joseph. My name is Joseph Hilo. I'm living on number 13, Oluwa Bamishe. Ejibo. This sickness started for a long time ago. But by the grace of God, I believe God tonight, after the man of God have prayed for us, my God strengthened me. I have not been working, but now God help me. I've been working. Praise the Lord. He came here with a walking stick, but you can see how him now. You can now walk. Let them see you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Walk on your own. The state overseer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord God has shown to us tonight that is present here with us. And I could see that they are still trying to interview some other people there. Uh, we will not be able to wait for them uh, because of the time we have. And for tomorrow's service that starts at 7.30 a.m. in this place. All those who are still being interviewed, please, you will testify tomorrow morning at the Sunday worship service before the crusade in the evening. For the rest of...